I'm up in the mountains here today in Colorado with my dog Ranger. He's sitting inside the truck taking it easy already. I'm not sure why he's doing that. But I'm going to show you what I, uh, how I set the inside of my tent up with the cot, chair, end table, things like that. And uh, how I make uh, sleeping out in the mountains a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more like home. So hang on a second and I'll show you the setup. Okay, first things first. Simple little uh, light for the tent. Uh, I, might, I might get two of these. It's a great little light because it has two settings on it. One is uh, three settings actually. One's bright, one's a lot not so bright, and then one's a night light. So if you have this sitting on an end table, uh, you can uh, it make, you know, if you don't, you're spray in the dark, uh, or you just like a little light, you can uh, use this. So I always, after I get my tent set up, first thing I do is I attach it up here. It's all ready to go, makes it easier to set up, especially if you're setting up in the dark. Next is the big cot. I've done a, 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 a product review of this cot earlier, or about a week ago, I think it was. And uh, so I'll leave a link below and you can see a little bit more about it. Right now I'm just setting it up. So it locks into place on both sides. Yeah, it makes it really easy for storing. Uh, transporting it's a great a great cot it's uh, from REI and uh, there's another one from Sierra I think it's called the Sierra 440 it's available on Amazon REI the REI Kingdom cot which this is what this is is only available on REI it's not available all available on Amazon so next, we'll see uh, the end table. The end table is pretty cool. I have two of them. So this end table has a little handle, easy to transport. I'm not sure a lot of people think about things like this. I believe this is a Coleman. I've had it for a long time. And super simple to set up. It's, uh, it's not a Coleman, it's a travel chair line. So, easy to set up. First thing you gotta do is uh, let these straps out a little bit, hook them into all four corners. It uh, basically, what happened is the uh, last couple trips I've made up here with Mike, I've let him borrow my second cot and the big three inch memory foam pad that you sleep on on to make the cot even more comfortable and then I have an extra end table so I let him borrow that also so now near the top of his list of things to purchase is this uh, kingdom cot or the Sierra 440 cot and an end table he was amazed at just having a simple this end table how much how made the uh, his tent more organized and not everything's laying on the floor so um, he's he's a believer now I mean these these uh, these 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 end tables they're, they're not very they don't cost very much so you don't have to worry about spending money too much money on that these these kingdom cots and the Sierra cot they do cost more but I'm telling you it's worth every penny so I set the end table up over by my bed and uh, so I can put you know, my keys, uh, you know, weapon if you want, light, and, um, you know, it just, it just it just keeps things off the floor, makes it much more comfortable. Next is the chair. This chair, as you can see, says Coleman right there. So it is a Coleman camp chair. I've had it for about 15 or 20 years. Uh, it's really good construction. It's, it's pretty simple. It has you know two uh, holders for for drinks. Not really fancy, but it's uh, been very sturdy. It has several chairs that have fallen apart. Uh, this one just keeps on going. So really good, really good chair. So as you can see, this is the basic setup I have. Besides the tent, I've got the overhead light. I've got my kingdom cot and my end table. 
and my chair. So I'll have a bag with me, you know, my duffel bag or something, backpack, and I'll put it off to the side and I keep things real organized that way. But if you got room to come in here, you can slide things under the cot that you know, like your shoes or whatever. Uh, it's just real simple, but it makes camping a lot nicer. So there you have it. This is how I set my tent up. This tent is supposed to be, I think, a four or five person tent, which you know how that is. It's really only good for two or three, but for uh, it's a good one person tent for the summer. This is a three person tent. I'm really not going to talk to you about the tent because it was a cheap tent I bought real quick because I, I needed to get out to the mountains and I didn't have a good uh, bigger tent at that point. But here it is. This is how I set my tent up uh, for the summer and I'll be getting a better tent in the future. I'll do a, another review on that and uh, that's all there is to it. Well, I've got to show you my buddy. So here's Ranger. Hey, Ranger, say hi. Oh, he's gonna come inside the tent and, hey boy, he is a lover. How are you? He's uh, he's my hiking buddy. And he, he just wanting to get real close right now. I'm trying to make a video of you, dude. So we rescued him uh, about seven, eight years ago. We think he's a Chinook or they bred them um, with some uh, sled dogs or something up in Alaska, shepherds and other dogs, I, we don't know for sure. But thanks for joining me on Mike and Rick Outdoors. And hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification on the right hand side also because you'll get all the new great hunting, fishing videos and outdoor videos uh, that we do here in Colorado and in Oklahoma.